I'm going to show you how you can deploy PowerShell 7 using Group Policy. So to start, we want to get our PowerShell 7 installation files. So to do that, if we just search for PowerShell 7 in any search engine and come to the Installing PowerShell on Windows page, we can see that the best choice for Windows servers and enterprise deployments is the MSI package. So we can select that and then select our PowerShell 7 MSI package. Once that's downloaded, if we come to our downloads, we'll want to take this MSI package and then we'll want to put it in a shared location that all of the servers and users can access. So if we right click and copy that, and then if we navigate to our local domain, and then if we come to our sysvol folder, and then our local domain, and then in here, we can create a new folder and call this software. And then within there, we can paste our PowerShell file. By default, the sysvol location is already shared and is able to be accessed by all of the users and computers. So we don't have to make any modifications to the permissions. So now we've got our PowerShell install file in a shared location. We can copy the path and then we can open up the group policy management. And then under group policy objects, we can right click and select new. And then we can call this deploy PowerShell 7 and then press OK. And then we can right click and edit our deploy PowerShell 7 GPO. And then under computer configuration, we can select policies, software settings, and then software installation. Then if we right click the software installation tab and then select properties, we can paste in our file path under the default package location and then press apply and okay. So now when we right click the software installation and press new package, it will automatically select the file location that our PowerShell 7 files are in. And then we can select PowerShell 7 and then press open. We can leave this as assigned and then press okay. And now we've got our group policy object with our PowerShell 7 MSI imported. And we can see that the source is our PowerShell 7 MSI and it is in our shared location. So now we've got our GPO, we can close the editor and then we can link this GPO to any of the organizational units that we want to deploy PowerShell 7 to. If you want to limit it, you can remove authenticated users and then add in any of the servers you want to deploy this to. However, I want to deploy this to all servers. So if I drill down into my organizational unit structure, I've got a servers OU, and I will just drag this deploy PowerShell 7 over the servers OU. And now any server that is within this servers OU will get PowerShell 7 deployed to it when it next reboots. So if I come over to a server that is within that OU, what I can do is I can open up a command prompt and I can just check that PowerShell 7 isn't already installed. So if we go to appwiz.cpl, we can see that only Microsoft Edge is installed and it doesn't have PowerShell. So now if I do a GP update slash force, I'm doing this so I can force the policy through. In a production environment, you will just leave this and then the next time the server reboots, it will get the policy and the application will automatically be installed. So we can see that the group policy client side extension software installation was unable to apply one or more of the settings. That's because it gets applied when the system reboots and it boots up. So what we need to do is just restart this. So we can either do yes to restart. So I'll just give this a reboot now. And now that's booting back up, we can see that it's applying the software installation settings. And then now it's asking us to log back in. So if I log in, It may just take a few seconds to finish the installation. But if I check my programs and features, we can see that PowerShell 7 is now installed. And if we open up a command prompt, we can run pwsh, and it's opened up our PowerShell 7. So we can see that it is installed and working. So that's how you can deploy PowerShell 7 using group policy.